Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a series of short videos for all you mobile developers who have just started working with declarative frameworks such as Flutter, Swift UI, etc. and are probably struggling to figure out the structure of a UI screen in code or in your head. Especially when you see screens like the Reddit app and then you just wonder where does the UI even start from or end at. There are so many elements in the screen, how do I even break them into code and even if I do, I am not sure if my code is going to be readable. And just look at the screen, it's crowded with elements. How do I know which component for my framework fits here? If you're new to declarative UI, you might have these questions because I also struggled a lot with this during my first month of learning Flutter. And once I cracked a way of doing this better, I wrote an article called breaking down layouts to rows and columns where I stated that you can basically break down any layouts into rows and columns but today i want to rephrase and correct myself and say that you can break down almost any layout into rows column and stack in simpler terms if you want elements to place one after another in the horizontal axis uh, that is from right to left or left to right then you would want to use row for that if you want elements to be placed one after another in the vertical axis uh, which is from top to bottom or bottom to top that you want to use column for that but if you want to place elements on top of each other like books stacking up on top of each other in a library then you would want to use stack for uh, such a scenario of course this is just a molecular level breakdown because the row column and stack will have their own children which is going to be the atomic level widgets such as the text the text field image container etc by the end of the series and i don't know when the series will ever end but during the course of these videos you should get comfortable with layouts and by just looking at a ui screen you should be able to tell what the structure of the code would be and start getting into the code right away without much trial and error but of course this is not going to be a hundred percent solution for all uh, layouts there is going to be a little bit of refactoring every now and then depending on how complex the ui is but this is just to train your brain better in a coding UI in such declarative frameworks. Even though the concepts that I mentioned uh, are going to be pretty general, but the term terminologies that I use are going to be Flutter based. For starters, in the next set of five to 10 minute videos, we are going to break down complex UI such as Reddit, WhatsApp, uh, etc., or also like general general basic ones like login sign up etc and soon we are going to graduate to more code and to decide which widget is more perfect for which scenario stay tuned and if you feel like these videos are going to be useful for you then do subscribe like share comment because that will motivate me to create more content for you and if you want to catch up my behind the scenes work then you can go on twitter and instagram and follow me there see you in the series